is another one of my favorite breweries. A gentleman by the name of Jonathan Sohn, who came from Germany, started a brewery here. It was a Sohn Brewery, the Mohawk Brewery, Cliffside, the Felsenbrau. This brewery was open one way or another from the 1830s to the late 1950s. 1955, they hired a pitcher named Heinemann, Gary Heinemann from the Yankees to run it, and it was out of business within two years. This building was built in 1887, as the name says up there. On the facades, you see the cask, the cherubs, the hops, the reliefs. At the top, there's a brewer symbol, six sides. It meant that they had good water, a good brewer, yeast, malt, hops, and grain, and you were getting fine quality beer, and they advertised it heavily, even put on the labels of their beer. You know, the original owners died in an accident. They used to lift the barrels of beer up. And how much did they weigh? A barrel of beer weighs about 300 pounds full. If you were lifting a barrel of beer and your cohort had more beers to drink than you did, he might have dropped it on you and you might have lost a leg or an arm or something along those lines. Which is actually what happened to Mr. Sohn in about 1865, a barrel of beer fell on his leg, smashed his leg, and later he died of the complications. So a long history in this brewery. Well, if anyone's interested, you can certainly buy tickets, buy merchandise, and be part of the Cincinnati Brewery Heritage tradition. We're a nonprofit. The money from these tours and from merchandise go to supporting the historical breweries of Cincinnati. Uh, you can donate online. You can buy our merchandise online. This is your opportunity to become part of Cincinnati's heritage. Thank you for your support of the Brewery District, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.